beautiful. With its slick, glossy design, the PSP is home to many fingerprints and is also a remarkable piece of tech. I mean, I wouldn't be literally making entire 3D renders if that wasn't the case. But here we are in this beautiful world we call PSP. It's like a nut you can play with outside, according to, you know, PSP. PSP. It's like a nut you can play with outside. Their words, not mine. Now it's time to take a look at the PlayStation Portable. Ah uh, yes, you guys remember that kind of music? The PSP, an innovative piece of tech, with the power to play both games and media. It was truly ahead of its time. It pulled off PS2-esque graphics, and was as small as your average PDA, or personal desktop assistant if you guys don't know what that means. These funny looking things. Now let's take a look at a PSP case. Now, I love these cases. They look like little tiny PS2 cases. That's cute. But now it's time to talk about more serious things. This is how people behaved around PSP back in the day. <laughs> PSP was like a curse. But now it's time to talk about the games. We got spin-off titles like Daxter and Secret Agent Clink. Yeah, truly classic titles. And if you have a problem with that, you can just fight me. And there was also Spider-Man. You know, like Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man 3, Spider-Man on UMD Video, all the works. PlayStation is truly the home of Spider-Man. And no PlayStation consoles complete without a Spider-Man game. It's the usual thing. With great power comes great responsibility. It sounded like he was saying it like this. With great power comes great responsibility. Spider-Man is a beautiful game nonetheless. It's a huge sprawling world on the go for goodness sake. If you are a Spider-Man fan and have a PSP, definitely check this one out. Wipeout Pure is just a fun racing game, part of the Wipeout series. If you're looking for racers on the PSP, this is one you should try out. I mean, come on, it's underwater. And also Shrek had games on here too. Yeah. Hey! Oh, Shrek here! Secret Agent Clink, there's not much to talk about this game, but, uh, it's, it's a very basic Ratchet and Clank game, where you're a Secret Agent Clank, you know, just your normal Ratchet and Clank stuff. Then we got Daxter, a Jack and Daxter game, only about Daxter. I just recently got into the Jack and Daxter series, so expect a video eventually. So stay tuned for that, Jack and Daxter fans. It's incoming. And what the hell was with that Matrix reference? Oh wait, this was the 2000s, my bad. Then we got Shrek the Third. Um, it's a hack and slash game, like many movie titles were on this thing. Like Pirates of the Caribbean, a classic Jack Sparrow adventure where you hack and slash enemies to world's end. Get it? Get the joke? Okay, I'll stop now. But these are just mere games. What you need is cheaper by the dozen. I just like these small little discs. Really dig the transparent one. Looks nice. Oh yeah, the PSP can play movies. Sometimes it's fun just to watch. Ah yes, every popular 2000s film. Napoleon Dynamite, Dodgeball, yeah. The classics. Finally, I can finally talk about Napoleon Dynamite. What am I looking at? Yeah, it's a mini game collection, but with Napoleon Dynamite. Very strange game. It's one of those time waster games that you pick up, play for a few seconds and put away, I guess. If you just want that much more Napoleon Dynamite in your life, I guess. Speaking of which, did you guys know there's a show? Yeah, uh, interesting. Go check that out if you want. That pretty much wraps up everything for PlayStation Portable. We shall one day return to PSP, but for now, it's time to say goodbye. Stay ultimate stay comedians. Nut. No.